There are two common types of clocks. The more modern version uses a piezoelectric crystal, which is just a crystal that vibrates at a specific frequency when you hook it up to a battery and run a current for it. Older clocks, like a grandfather clock you may have seen, use pendulums, because the time it takes for a pendulum to move backwards and forwards once is the same no matter how far it travels. However, watches were invented before pizza electricity was discovered, and hanging a pendulum on a watch would just be inconvenient. So how did the first watches work? And the answer is with a mechanical watch, just like the one I'm wearing right now. Some of you may have noticed a few months ago I already made a video with this very watch and explained how it works. And it turned out to be quite popular, so I thought I'd remake it to a higher standard. Let's get to the macro footage. Here we have the watch. At the top of the mechanism you can see the power supply, which is a torsion spring that slowly unravels with time. You must periodically wind this up using the knob on the side of the watch. This provides power to the escapement system, pictured here. The gear in the lower right of the screen tries to move continuously and freely, but is periodically stopped by the pallet, which are the jeweled pincers that move backwards and forwards. By slowing down the video, we can show this more clearly. Each time the pallet hits and stops the escape wheel, the ticking sound is produced, and also a small amount of energy is transferred to the balance wheel in the top left corner. The balance wheel moves backwards and forwards at the same rate because of the continuous supply of energy. This energy is used to keep the pallet in check and make sure that it matches the same rate. Overall, this has the effect of keeping your watch in time.